guys? Hello, how are you guys doing? <laughs> so far, this week has begun like a typical week. Monday, laundry, editing vlog, nothing special. Uh, what is different, because I haven't shown this with you guys, is that every morning last week, I actually went out for little jogs, like 15 minute jogs. I know it's not a lot, but hey, I'm moving, I'm being active. The uh, reason I'm in the vlog is because it's early in the morning, I'm just literally put on a hat and a t-shirt and a pair of shorts and I'm out the door. Like, that's why it's in the point, because I look like crap. <laughs> but yeah, it's a 15 minute, like, jog and then I like, walk back. Like, I should, I know I should be jogging back, but I'm like, at the same time, I also want to enjoy the interaction being outside. Because that's like my, how you say, my way of waking up, I guess you can say. So I can just walk back and enjoy the nature, I guess you can say. But yeah, I've been doing that, and then... Dukumi gave me some little workout tips for me to do around the house, which I've been really useful. I've been doing that every single morning as well when I wake up. Because I'm still waking up very early still. Like around like 7 or 8 a.m. Now it's kind of more normalized. But yeah, oddly enough, I'm still keeping it up. <laughs> even though sometimes I had to go to bed at 1 a.m. But it still roughly ends up being like seven, 7 hours of sleep. So that's still pretty good. But yeah, I've been doing that. Um, the reason why I don't go to the gym is because... It's a gym in build There's a gym in my building, so I find it really stupid of me to go to a gym when there's a gym in my building. It's just that my gym's not open yet because of COVID reasoning. Because even though it's getting a little better, I think they're still taking precautions, which is a good thing. Because did you guys see the pictures of Richmond Night Market reopening the first night? Actually, the first weekend, I would say. The first weekend, it was packed. Like... On the, in the articles, they said they were going to social distance, they were going to be very cautious, they'd be lineups. That was not seen when I saw those pictures. And let's put it this way. Half the people weren't even having masks on. Some people had it down here, A for effort, and then some just walking around like nothing's wrong. Like, it's not good entirely yet, right? You guys know that, right? So it's a little scary knowing the fact that the borders are opening up soon, so... People are going to come even more frequently, and then night markets are going to be even crowded as... Mm, not liking it. And I'm pretty sure those people there, 90% of them aren't even vaccinated twice. So, yeah. I just want to get my second vaccine as soon as I can, so that I can be... So it gives me a peace of mind. I know it's not 100% I'll be safe, but it gives me a peace of mind at least. But yeah. So yeah, I don't know if you guys saw those pictures, but that was not fun to stare at. <laughs> Um, today's plan is I'm going to fish it in the vlog, I just started it, and then I'm going to fish clean the apartment. I just have to put the rest of the stuff in one more bin, do a big vacuum, and then laundry, always, full laundry, and then the rest of the day is mine. I don't know what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to get to get really chill. Like yesterday was a lot of fun going out for a while. I might do that actually, go for a little walk later tonight once the sun set, because it is kind of warm today. Because I'm going around 9, whereas little, like, not as many people by the water, because you know I hate people these days. But yeah, I think that's the plan for today. I am very happy right now because I am absolutely done cleaning the patio mess. <laughs> so all the boxes and stuff that were here, I organized them as you just saw and then I was able to stack them surprisingly again. No measurements did. My three boxes fits perfectly right on this ledge. There's a walkway into the patio. I'm able to bring the air conditioner out even more so it can cool down the room easier because the tube will extend out the patio door. This has worked out again perfectly. <laughs> Sadly, I wish it was a stack four because I have one small blue bin, but I managed to just tuck it uh, next to my bookshelf and the island area there, so it's not in the way either. But yeah, it worked out very well. I moved the air conditioner box here for the time being. I'm going to get rid of this probably oof, the end of this week, maybe midweek, because it's a big box and people are going to look at me if I take it out now, you know what I mean? Uh, I'll break it down downstairs. There's a lot of garbage in there too, plastic and stuff. So yeah, I'll deal with that probably within the middle of the week or during the week. Um, but yeah, it worked out very well. I vacuumed. It's all clean now and 
I was able to clear out a lot of the junk on the patio, minimizing what I have in the house. Because it's good to do these purges once in a while. I don't know what came over me. I guess, you know, to end a chapter in my life, like, you know, the Yuna and stuff, moving forward, that kind of stuff. Don't get me wrong, I'm always going to miss her, but it's a way of tidying her, tidying it up and honoring her at the same time. But yeah, I didn't realize I would go as far as cleaning the patio, but I'm actually quite happy. Oh, show you the patio. So I should do. And the patio is completely empty. So originally I had boxer. I'm not going to step outside because I don't have my slippers right now because I, I wash them and they're drying right now. But originally on the wall here next to my window to my room, I had a bunch of boxes. It's completely empty now, which is awesome. So, in the future, I think I'm probably just going to, um, what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to get, like, a patio table and a chair or something, and then it'll work very well, and, yeah, that's probably, like, next summer, because this summer is, like, it's already August, and I don't have anything saved up for furniture, so, yeah, but, yeah, that is the patio. I am currently catching up on a Korean drama. My roommate is a gumiho. I fell behind with it because my credit card was bonkers, but slowly catching up. But um, I wanted to talk about this right here. Animal baits. Um, I ate this treat growing up, and I'm glad they still make it. I just forgot how good they are. <laughs> I was like, I thought they're, they're definitely kids for little kids, like snacks for little kids, but my god, these are good. It's very plain and simple, but... Okay, to first of all, talk about the fact that the prints on these things are... Look at this. Okay. Look at this, I think it'll come five. But no joke. It might be a really simple treat, but these are really good. <laughs> yeah, I'm five. Whatever. I just spent a good two hours writing the script for my next review video for a drama for OK Drama Time, and I am extremely tired. I worked longer than I thought. I was gonna do like 45 to minutes to an hour. That's what I usually do every day. But you know, once I get into the work mode, it's really hard for me to stop because I get all these ideas out. That's why I always take notes as I'm typing. So if I come up with something that I want to talk about, I can just write it down and worry about it later. But yeah. That time got away from me. Um, earlier, I played some more Pokemon Unite. Basically, I don't really need to play. I just log in to get the reward. <laughs> and then I log out. I played Overwatch with uh, Scott and Takumi. It was a lot of fun. We did much better. I think we're doing better. I think because we're playing so much often now that eventually we are getting better and better and better. But yeah. <laughs> uh, we were going to play Fortnite, but both... Uh, Scott and I needed to update our versions of the game. Sorry, it's dark, guys. Uh, we had to update our game, so we couldn't play. So we'll probably play maybe tomorrow. Who knows? I'm not the best Fortnite player. I played once in my life. The game never really caught my attention. I think because I don't have many friends that play video games. And then <laughs> I don't like playing these types of games alone because it's kind of boring. So, yeah. Um, it's getting very late. It's past my normal bedtime. <laughs> by just a little bit, so I'm going to personally brush my teeth and get some sleep. I do have work tomorrow, but it's later in the day, it's in the afternoon, which means I still have time to wake up early, go for my jog walk. I'm still doing that, I haven't really missed a day, I'm really proud of myself. Uh, I'm still still do that, do a little bit of work at home, and then go to work. But yeah, uh, a really crappy day, I didn't really show much, sorry. I said I'll do better, I'm not really doing better, am I guys? I was cleaning earlier in the week, I did come across my old yearbooks from high school. <laughs> four of them. Wait, is it supposed to be four or five? Four, right? Okay, any anyway, I might not have grade eight, because my brother was in the same high school as me, and we thought it would be stupid of us to ha buy the same yearbook, if you know what I, just know what I mean. But then I just complained that, hey, it's not fair, I want people to sell my yearbooks. <laughs> 
But, you know, I didn't really have friends in high school, so, you know, that was a misjudgment on my part. Um, I want to show you guys my yearbook, my yearbooks, and how James looks like when he was in high school, but let's put it this way. I didn't have the most pleasant high school experience, <laughs> so I don't think I'll be sharing that with the internet. <laughs> in fact, let's put it this way. <laughs> Oops. Let's put it this way. I didn't have any friends, so henceforth, there really isn't much to show. <laughs> Maybe I'll like have like a yearbook party or something and invite some friends over and have them all bring their yearbooks or something. That'll be cool reminiscing. But yeah, I don't think I'll be sharing that <laughs> online. Because... It wasn't a pleasant experience. <laughs>
didn't. Okay, I, I guess. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm big brain. I'm fucking huge. What are you? Brain. Is that now big brain? <laughs> I don't need this shit. All right. Okay. So you don't need the box. No, I'm gonna keep the box. Okay, okay. I need the box. You want to keep the box? What? You don't want to yeah, keep. I keep the box. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna. How are you gonna Again. keep? So you're gonna. Just like slightly damaged. Wait, so how you get to the box home? Uh, I don't know. So I'm you still need the bag. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I can't fit it. You can't fit that in your bag either. Mm. I'll find a way. Transformers fit to cars, right? I literally have a minute of you trying to get a box and shoes into your it small backpack. Work. It's not gonna work. You also have the socks to deal with. Ah, uh, socks are fine. It's fine. It's okay. Just believe. Believe in the process, you know? Come on! Scott, it's not gonna fit. Your friend's gonna be like, why is the box all mangled? That's fine. Then yeah, how are you gonna yeah. put the shoes in? I'll just stuff them in. I'll find a way. Uh, uh, come on, come on, come on. Uh, <laughs> I can do it. Why are you so tired? Mm. No, the shoes won't fit. James, why didn't you tell me? I already told you it's not gonna work. No, I have a deformed box. The I'm only way it's gonna work is you don't bring the box. Uh, I'm not gonna bring the box. No, like, but what if your friends like I don't want it? They could suck it. Oh man. Oh man. I did not think this through. Clearly, you did not. All right. And this has been an episode of Scott's yeah. failures. Box. Imagine you guys with box oh and God. the shoes did into you? the bag. Everything's inside. Don't open. Oh, don't no! open it. Don't open it. Ah. Oh. For content, though. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you open it? Okay. People it see that there's no I box got, around you anyway. Got you got it. it. You got it. And this goes in my pocket. Uh, We're all good. All right. Yeah. Brought to you by Scott. Yep. I was very productive today. After work, I came home and then I took a shower and then I start continuing working on the script. I think I'm 90% done, and it's only been about an hour and a half, so it's pretty good. I'm making quick progress. I'm probably finish it. I want to say tomorrow, but tomorrow I'm very busy. Like I don't have any time. Oh, I do. Maybe I will. I'm gonna commit to like doing that stuff. But yeah. Um, I was so involved with the work. I didn't even eat dinner. Well, partly because I wasn't hungry, and I'm not gonna eat just for the sake of eating. I drank a lot of water because you know, I knew what it is. I'm very hot right now, so that could really affect my appetite. I think I've mentioned that before, so yeah, I'm probably just gonna <laughs> go to bed now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm happy what I came with. Um, I was surprised I didn't play Overwatch. I think also because Takumi and Scar are busy, so we didn't play Overwatch, so that's why I could focus. So yeah. Um, hopefully, I can finish it tomorrow, and then Monday after I finish editing the vlog, I'll start doing the voice over. But yeah. Get Tejan. I got the my calorie with uh, vanilla bean and macaron. I wish it like surf. This one got tiramisu. Tiramisu. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you love? I got cookies and cream. No, to the need. Cookies and cream. <laughs> Ina Dell is driving. Look at her. <laughs> Look we're just going on a straight road. Like going on a straight road. <laughs> we're cruising. We're okay. Yeah. As if we're not going to be okay. We're totally fine. You know, can go speeding for all I know. We're fine. We're down a straight road. Down a straight road. I am home now. I came home. Um, it was fun riding with Ina. Her driving has definitely got better. I'm proud of Ina. <laughs> Uh, at the beginning, when I was first driving with her, I was a little nervous. I was okay, a lot better. It was she's got a lot better. It's smoother. And she's braking better. Her turns are like really good right now. So proud of Ina. She did it. So I came home, got a shower, and then um, since I ate kind of 
four. I'm pretty hungry right now, but I don't want to eat too heavy because I'm probably sleeping within the next two hours. So I'm just gonna heat up some leftovers and eat that. Um, but I'm probably just gonna keep it easy tonight and just play Overwatch after eating and then just digesting the food a little bit, watch some Korean dramas, you know it, and then yeah. But with all the excitement, <laughs> Ina left her and in my car. So I'm going to put this in my backpack so I don't forget to give it to her when I see her next. Luckily, she doesn't need it right away, which is a good thing. But, you know, it's kind of annoying that she forgot it because suddenly if she needs to drive, it's going to be quite annoying. But it's okay. I see her on Tuesday. So, oops. So I see her on Tuesday, so she won't have to wait too long to get this back. I'm just going to put my bag now so I don't forget it. Can't really see in the dark. But uh, today, uh, work was... I did a split shift because we had a meeting today, so I went to work, I opened the store up, and then I finished, and then me and Kat and Aaron went to Cactus Club, as you saw earlier, and then with the meeting, and then after the meeting, we went to Milk Cow. It's been so long since we've been to Milk Cow. It's so yummy. Um, Milk Cow has always been good. It's just that the portion sizes are always a little bit too small, I feel, but it's a good size. You know what I mean? You don't feel sick after eating it because it's a lot and it's not too little where you don't have enough. It's just right, but I just wish it was a little bit more because the price is just a little bit not balanced. I'm surprised they increased their prices since COVID, but you know, it's just, of that price, it's just a little bit bigger would be nice, but it is a good size for a snack, honestly. But yeah. Okay, I'm just going to go eat. Um, should I end my vlog here? You know, I'm just gonna end it here just in case I forget, because I'm just gonna play video games and watch Carrie dramas, right? But yeah, I'll see you all next week. Bye!